What up YouTube, it's your boy Sabio, back at the game with another reaction video. Today we are going to be reacting to a special request from one of my closest friends, Carlos. He is a huge gamer and a big League of Legends fan. So he asked me to react to this song called Giants by True Damage. And it's featuring a bunch of big artists. Uh, some of them I know, some of them I don't know too well. But I'm super hyped to do this. He said that there is an animated version and a live version, but he wanted me to react to the animated version first. So that's what I'll be doing. If you guys really like this video and want me to react to the live version, definitely make sure to smash that like button and tell me down in the comment section below. But I'm really interested to see how they meld all these different people together. I know that one of the artists is like a K-pop person and there's Kiki Palmer and Becky G who most of you guys probably have heard of at some point before. And so I'm pretty excited to see how they meld all these different voices together into this one song that I guess is the theme song for this season of League. So without further ado, let's get into it. Peace. I first want to start off by saying this character, uh, I don't know if he's an actual character in the game, I'm assuming so, uh, but he might just be an animated version of the rapper who's rapping this part, but he kind of looks like Static Shock to me, which I think is dope, because Static used to be one of my favorite characters growing up, and that used to be one of my favorite shows growing up, so already a good start. This guy, whoever it is, uh, probably not Becky G or Kiki Palmer. He can rap though. Whoever this is so far is rapping. And this this is a weird beat to rap on. If you hear the melody kind of switches up and like glitches a couple times uh, throughout the course of you know this verse so far, which goes with the animation, which by the way so far is spectacular. And so that's a that's a hard beat to find a flow on and He's just riding it. Got the whole crew with me, but it do damage. You know we ain't average. Ain't gonna set it set again, but it's in my time. Better look in my eyes. I'm a genius in the skies with my heart on my sleeve. If you force we'll block to a king in his prime. Everybody got a line. Sit back with the stars in line. I finesse like my life on the nine. Was it coming in a rough? And now I shine. So for that part, before we transition into uh, probably the chorus or some type of pre-chorus, if you heard towards the end of his verse, he sped up the flow and then slowed it down and started hitting you with some of the more melodic stuff. Uh, in this case, it was kind of auto-tuned, but there's nothing wrong with that. A lot of artists sound great with auto-tune, and his stuff came out really smooth, really clean, uh, and it wasn't too robotic. Sometimes, a lot of times, you hear artists like really going for it, and they attempt to kind of get that Travis Scott kind of sound, but they don't have Travis's voice and autotune doesn't just make you magically sing better. You have to be able to hold a note to an extent to be able to sound well through autotune. And this guy, although clearly a great rapper, was able to do that. So that section is clearly Becky G uh, pulling out the, the Spanglish as she tends to do in a lot of her Latin influenced songs and really clear. I mean, vocals sounding great, of course. So that was Kiki and unmistakably Kiki. Her voice just so powerful and they layered up her vocals quite a bit on that chorus, which you hear a lot in pop choruses. They give the choir effect by having either the vocalist sing the same section several times, but in slightly different pitches or by simply taking one very clean, one very nice run through of the chorus and then, you know, adding effects to it to give that same general 
sound, but it sounded really good and really powerful. I didn't know that Becky could rap that well. I don't listen to too much of her music, but she's definitely holding her own rapping on, as I've already explained, this pretty complex beat in English and smashing it. Now, let's see who this person is who looks like they're about to go Super Saiyan. <laughs> That, uh, that galloping snare is what I call it. We'll go back a little bit so you can hear it one more time transitioning out of uh, this person's verse. That is, that's a very hard thing to rap over and obviously I don't speak Korean, so I'm assuming it's also hard in Korean, so that took a bunch of skill. <laughs> There's also like a sonar effect going on in the background where it's like do, do, do. And I've heard a lot of that starting to become prevalent in like modern pop music. And I think that's a really cool sound effect that if you just let it hang in the back of the sonic landscape, it gives depth to the beat. So whoever this guy is with the huge ponytail, I'm assuming that is the DJ producer of this whole situation. Uh, he looks like he has some uh, DJ controllers in front of him there. So it's probably the person who produced this, but this beat is hard, like hard. You can hear Becky G in the background with the background vocals if you listen closely. Okay, that was dope. The the whole sword spin reverse fan situation. Okay, so Carlos, my friend who recommended this to me, told me that one of the characters has some type of time altering ability and that they played with that in the song. And so clearly it's this static shock, not static shock character. And that was dope. They just reversed the whole melody of the song. And it sounds like it's a different guy rapping on this part. This guy kind of sounds like Ski Mask. Uh, it's obviously not Ski Mask, but uh, it doesn't sound like the person who they had originally. But this is a dope, dope bridge. You just quit sleeping on mine. You got your back on recline. When that damage your headache is fine. Please don't act out, shy and surprise. They be like, they be like, what you mean? What is your winning scheme? I got a giant team. Biggest my self esteem. Run it back, run it back, run it. My man pulled out the Shadow Clone Jutsu right there. Uh, now he, the whoever this rapper is, kind of sounds like Jid. But um, this section is dark, dude. Like from the animation to. The production, it's super dark and dense sounding. And personally, I really like dark, dense sounding music. I, I don't know, kind of emo. L leave me alone, okay? But I'm curious how they're going to transition out of this into what I believe will be the next section is probably the chorus if this is actually a bridge. Even if it's not a bridge, if it's a verse, it'll probably be the pre-chorus. And that was very bright and poppy with Becky G and Kiki Palmer coming in so powerfully. So I'm I'm really interested to see how this gets back to that. And I really hope that it's not needle drop choppy. Well, 
that, that that was the way to do it. That was the way to do it. To have, I believe that was probably Kiki in the background with the vocals fading in as she's hitting that monster run and the drum fill with the snare roll in the background giving energy to the song speeding it back up to help you get from that you know halftime slowed down deep dark dense section to this bright powerful chorus <laughs> I just want to pause on the the picture of all of them. This is this is really great to see. I am not a gamer, sadly. I'm I'm a nerd in many other ways. So I don't actually play League, and I don't know if these are characters from the game itself or if these are just animated interpretations of all of the artists who came together to create this song, which is great, by the way. But there's there's so much color on this from the standpoint of the the actual characters. There's you got browns, whites, yellows, ev everything, um, and that's that's really cool to see. As you know, a kid who grew up in the late '90s, early 2000s, where we didn't have a lot of representation in video games, um, this is dope. Just, even if these aren't actual characters and this is just for the video, it's dope to see for little nerdy black kids, little nerdy brown kids, little nerdy Asian kids, white kids, everybody to see this level of diversity. So kudos to whoever orchestrated this whole thing, whatever company owns League or you know creates these videos. And as far as the animation on this video, it's spectacular. I mean, it kind of reminds me of Into the Spider-Verse with the deep saturation of really vivid colors and the kind of like glitchy comic book anime style, but I think it's beautiful. Wow, that was that was really good. I don't listen to and or play League, so I didn't know what to expect coming into that, but I am pleasantly surprised. The production value was really great and really complex, uh, which, makes it that much more impressive that all of these different artists were able to find their pocket and find a flow on this song whether it be rapping or singing or whatever they were doing on the song and overall i thought it was really great i don't know if this is like the theme song for the game or if it like plays when you're logging in i don't, I don't know when you'll hear this actual song for the game but it's a bop. I like it, and I'll definitely go download it. Like I said before, if you guys like this, let me know, and I might make a reaction to the live version and see how all of that comes together into an actual 3D version. But so far, this was this was really good, and I'm super impressed. Definitely make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, guys, and we'll be seeing you next time. Peace.